So about four months ago, I made a Don't Starve public server where over 20 players could join with absolutely no rules. And by no rules, I mean I locked them all in a cage and watched them starve to death. Everything was going well on the Anarchy server up until I realized that lag was the apex predator of the universe. But what if I tried a polar opposite governing system with an equally oppressive nature on a game that hasn't really aged well, but has a much higher lag tolerance? I present to you the Roblox Fascism server. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna need to put a little bit of elbow grease in on this one, guys. Tortinos, tortinos, hot pizza. Alright, five days later and a Roblox three-day ban later, and I'm all done. Let me show you guys around. Alright, we're in. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice is that we have five wonderful social classes. Here are the laws of my nation. I hope they're just unfair enough to make someone feel genuinely endangered. First significant role we have is military. These are the people that I give all the guns to and I just hope they don't try to overthrow me. The next role we have are the war criminals, the ones who couldn't follow the laws of my great nation and instead I locked them inside these cages. Ironically enough, they're probably the safest out of anyone. Next up we have the working class, the only class that's allowed to build. I made sure to give them only the worst props of all, so that way they would have a genuine issue with building. And lastly you have me, the Emperor. For the most part I'm just gonna sit inside my tower and watch everything go down, but occasionally I'll pull some puppet master type things. And in the event that the rebels do manage to overthrow me, I do have an escape plan. I made these planes look like ducks. I wonder if they'll notice. Oh, they'll notice. This is the line where I'm going to have everybody beg me for social statuses because I can't have everybody going military. I need to decide who gets what. And this giant... Well, uh, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't actually remember building this. I think it was some kind of code that somebody else nuzzled in because this place is so grossly free modeled. Oh, did I say free models? I meant free market. I inserted these giant gear machines so people can have at least somewhat of a means of production, but then I realized you could actually get bombs from the gear machines, so I had to regulate it using the military. This next machine I'm very proud of. In the event that someone wants to overthrow me, they can simply step in this machine, which first breaks all their bones in their body so they can't escape. Then it gives the media enough time to fabricate a story regarding their death, gives them a death request meme, and then gives them a Half-Life Alex quote before dropping them in a pool of acid and zombies. Next up we have the free health clinic and the first thing you'll notice about the health clinic is that there's no way to get inside. Whether you think this is a political statement or me just being cruel is yet to be determined. But for those who still want healthcare, I have a button right here for them that conveniently teleports them directly to SCP-106's pocket dimension. Alright, I've covered pretty much everything there is to cover. Let's get some people in here. <laughs> All right, so the first people have joined now. I'm gonna go ahead and let people get their roles now. Okay, who wants what job? Ah, okay. Well, the military is already kind of doing the job, but trying to stop people from opening the. Gear. But uh, yeah, um, so far we got two military and two working class, so things are going well to start with. I'm 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 looking forward how this is gonna turn out. Oh, what's this? We have somebody who's already broken inside. Okay, well. We know what we have to do to you. And we're gonna make you a war criminal. And now he's gonna sit inside there and think about what he's done for a little while. So, things are going pretty well. Uh, people are starting to kill each other, though. So, it's time to uh, enforce order and... The, the only way I can seem to uh, think to do that is to release the badger on the uh, local populations. There we go. There we go. It only took a minute, but... <laughs> Barger? <laughs> People are trying to build it inside. Oh! Oh! Oh, they got it! Oh. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping to do worse. Okay, well, it was fun while it lasted. Straight to war, criminal. 
What is the status of my country? End us, slasher. We're in the Great Depression. <laughs> now, as for construction, they seem to have erected this giant stone, um, leviathan sort of construction. I'm not really sure what they're trying to build here. I think they might just be trying to lock out the gear room, but just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and give out the gear code. So the working class has officially taken control over the means of production, as in they've taken control over the gear room by <laughs> building that giant stone wall thing, but some of the working class seem to be improvising with the military and working to get rid of the giant stone obstruction. And uh, hopefully we'll see a little more out of that. Okay, this isn't good. Uh, we have people trying to get inside, uh, but like I can't let them in because I can't. I cannot risk them pressing the button before I'm ready. If they press the button before I'm ready, all is lost. So I've officially been placed with a dilemma. Um, my front door isn't working. It's not closing right now, probably due to the sophisticated lag of the giant stone structure in front of me. But. Fortunately, like, I do have kind of a solution, but I'm scared that these people are going to try and break in. So there's there's an idea that I have right now that might be able to put things under control, and that is to press the Commit Arcturus Manx button. So we're going to go ahead and press that, and hopefully it works. Ah, here we go. Okay, that worked. Yeah, it's working terrifically, but um, unfortunately now... We have zombies all over our country, so we've partially infected the area, but I think with some work from both the military and the working class, they can work together and <laughs> they can work together and hopefully save the country. So things are kind of escalating. Uh, one of my ducks was shot down, so I only have three planes left, and I need one of them to escape me. And uh, Slasher, I need a doctor. Yeah, that's not happened. Comes just to this pile of giant zombie limbs. We demand tools to provide our labor. All right, there we go, and hopefully we can come back from this. Uh, we're cleaning up the remainder of the zombies now. The zombies aren't spawning anymore. Be oh, somebody's been bombing the gear tester room. It has... Uh, it has pink uh, stuff over those selection icons because somebody dropped a subspace trip mine next to it, which is probably one of the strongest explosives. Emperor, I require tools to carry out this task. Your working class. Get to it, Kami. Once again, just like the uh, communist server, it looks like lag is going to be the um, overwhelming factor that ends up destroying everything. Maybe, maybe, maybe infecting the entire population wasn't the best choice. Alright, so I just sent out a message to, uh, that I'm going to be crashing the server. And hopefully we can try this fascism again. So that's one of the good things about Roblox is that you can try the same experiment multiple times. And it won't really have any negative effects on it. Fortnite, Fortnite, let's go, I get it. Okay, so I went ahead and reset the server. Everything's all nice and refreshed now. We even got the badger back. But the problem now here is that everybody knows the code to the door. I think what overall happened last time that was to cause the fall of my fascist dictatorship is that we gave the working class too much power. And in turn, they were able to lock out everything and lag out the server. Three communism memes later. Oh no, it's already too late. Kirby, one, one of the building class has built a wall around, oh my gosh. No. Give gear to the civilian class. All right, I'm gonna let them in. And now the civilians pretty much own the means of production because they're all gonna be able to get whatever they want now. No bombs. And he has a bomb. Okay, well, that's him dealt with. Wait. Who pressed the button? Okay, yeah, this isn't gonna work. I gotta... This is not anarchy. Okay, well, I'm gonna go take shelter in this large building. I, I, I don't know what it is, but, like, we, we, we gotta take shelter somewhere from the zombies. What is this? It's like... Like a little tunnel thing. Dude, what is this? 
Dude, I unironically do not know what the hell is the meaning. All right, so fortunately, I do have a solution to the population's issue right here. All I need to do is press this button. The top thing is uh, blown off. And now all I have to do is say, kill remaining zombies, no more will spawn. Oh, how did the badger get out? How did the badger's cage get open? Okay, so the people down there are still killing each other, still fighting over the gear machine. Fortunately, that's not something I have to worry about right now. <laughs> Why, God? <laughs> that's all he is. Oh, see, look, the war criminals are the most safe. Ha ha ha, I am safe and you are not. Okay, somebody has just painted the floor gray, so the situation is starting to deteriorate. It's night, there's zombies trying to eat my pet badger, and things are overall just not going that great right now, but th things will hopefully ramp out if I just give more people working class, so... 10 brain cells later. Things are starting to escalate at a very high level. Everything keeps getting turned red. Red cultists are everywhere, and I'm starting to doubt my ducks can actually get me out of here safely. This is a scuffed government. Up yours. Um, the red play. <laughs> Once again, I don't really think I should teleport out to go and see because I can't risk having people have the means of production up here. AK, I cannot have people pressing this button until I am good and ready. Oh, somebody just stepped on the femur breaker too. He's being slowly dropped to the side. Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. And there are actually some military class that are, are actually working to try and preserve the people. Oh wait, I, I actually think that, yeah, that's her up there. She's, she's telling me to stop oppressing the citizens. <laughs> yeah. Like that's ever gonna happen. We can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. Okay, so bad news. They've they've officially broken inside. Somebody just killed me inside there, so they've officially broken inside, so we're not going to be able to hold this place for much longer. Alright, so I've been spawning a few zombies on the sides just to make sure that I'll have enough time to escape when I need to escape. But we're still able to hold this for just a little while longer. Looks like things are- the civilians are being shot. <laughs> He's not seeming to be able to get back in, but that could change all very quickly. Okay, so it seems like a civil war has officially been started in my nation. Uh, people who are loyalists to me combined with those who are separate from me, who are trying to get inside right now and try to kill me. Somebody's already tried to come in several times and assassinate me. I okay, 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 okay. This guy has a sentry. This guy... No, he's gonna press the button. He's gonna press the button. I gotta get out of here. I gotta... Okay, just remember, no matter how messed up a situation might seem, there is always a solution. And my solution is to fly away. So, let's... Yeah, let's just get out of here. We just nuke the server. Goodbye, server. This was the only way to stop the spread. <laughs> okay. I'm a dad! Little hero ride, I'm coming in your Well, that sure was fun. It kind of sucks that I had to nuke the server and destroy all my contraptions, though. But the important thing is that I survived, and I will live to test another government system on another game in the future. Also, if you'd like to participate in one of these videos in the future, I have plenty more videos planned where I interact with my subscribers. So make sure you check my community tab because that's where I'll post when I'm doing my next audience participation video. And yeah, see you all next time. I'm gonna go ahead and fly off into orbit now before I get intercepted by a military group. What is it? More brutes?